Dragon 2014 has commenced at Fort McCoy, Wisconsin. The Red Dragon exercise is used to develop, train, and assess the capabilities of chemical, biological, radiological nuclear units, or commonly known as Seaburn yes, units. Yes, Along with the U.S. reservists, Canadian Army soldiers are participating in the training to enhance their defense against weapons of mass destruction. The training is especially important to younger soldiers. It's been really, really fun. I'm enjoying it. It's a good experience, and I'm looking forward to having more experiences like this wherever I go. I love the training, so I want more. <laughs> the joint force aspect of the training adds an essential dynamic. They would get the, uh, the experience of working with a foreign army which is important because whenever we go overseas, we never go alone. We always have partners, NATO partners, and that would be uh, the U.S. is one of those big partners we would travel with and, and have to go to, uh, to war with if necessary. Roger, why don't you take us around? Colonel Charles Jones of the 415th Seaburn right Brigade took time out to observe the soldiers and provide a source of encouragement. We thank you. Um, thank you to, uh, we say, uh, to our soldiers for being here, for participating, and wanting to be the best that you can be. Uh, it's, it's very challenging. Uh, we understand that. We understand it takes you away from your home. We understand that it takes you away from your family. Um, and that is not something we overlook uh, as a leadership out here. We appreciate uh, what the soldiers bring. These soldiers are volunteers. We understand that they have a life other than the, than the Army. Uh, but uh, it's a great appreciation, and that's something we like to convey. Oh. Oh.